When you're trying to solve a computer problem, there's a lot of ways to go about doing it. Everybody sort of develops their own method. But in this video, we're going to talk about the CompTIA A plus troubleshooting methodology, the way that they recommend that you do it. And if you're taking an exam with them, the way that you're going to have to show them how you do it. So let's walk through the different steps of the troubleshooting methodology. The first thing you need to do is identify the problem. What's going wrong? What's not working the way that it should be? What is out of place in this case? And then once you figure out what the problem is, figure out an idea or a theory for what might be causing that problem. And then test that theory to see if it is causing the problem. See if you can change a variable or undo something that might fix the problem based on your theory. Now, if that doesn't work, well, you go back up to step two, and you can keep repeating these two steps until you have figured out exactly what the actual cause is, until you're able to confirm what is causing the problem, and then figure out a plan of action to help fix that problem and implement a solution to it. So once you have determined exactly what the cause of the problem is, you need to fix the problem. You need to figure out what the best way to go about fixing that problem is. And once you've implemented that solution, well, make sure that it works. Go back again, try to recreate the problem again, and see if you have actually successfully fixed that problem. Once you've confirmed that your solution works, write everything down. Document all of your findings, all of your actions, and all of your outcomes. Write down exactly what you did, exactly what you fixed, and how you fixed it. And that's really important because if the same problem occurs later, then you'll have this documentation to refer to, or maybe your friends or your coworkers will have this documentation to refer to, so that they can figure out and fix the problem for themselves much faster because you've already provided all of the groundwork. Now, now that we've talked about the basic methodology, let's also look at some specific things that we can do when we're trying to resolve a hardware problem. So with a hardware problem, first thing you need to do is check all of your physical cables, all of your connections. Make sure that everything that should be plugged in is plugged in. Look inside the case and make sure that everything is secured. Make sure nothing has come loose. Make sure none of your chips, none of your cards are loose and rattling around in the case. And then reboot the computer. It's a bit of a running joke in IT. The first thing you have to always ask is, have you tried turning it off and then on again? because a lot of problems will be fixed simply by restarting the device and giving a chance for any software issues to clear up. Then look at your event viewers. Look at any logs that you have that are going to give you warnings or give you signs of what the problem might actually be. Those logs can be really helpful in helping to narrow down your issues. And finally, much like restarting the computer, try uninstalling and reinstalling whatever feature or whatever piece of hardware is causing the problem. See if that fixes it. Maybe when you installed it the first time, something didn't install quite properly. Well, this will give you a chance to roll that back, to try again, and see if it fixes itself. Now, if none of this works and you need to try to find other ways to narrow down exactly what the problem is, to narrow down the symptoms of the problem, well, here are some ideas of questions that you can ask that might help you to figure out exactly what could be causing this. The first question is, what controls this system feature or device? Does it only occur when a certain application is running? That can help you narrow down what application might be interfering with things. What's happening when this problem occurs? So when there is an issue, what exactly is the issue? You need to get a thorough understanding of what exactly the problem is. If somebody comes to you and says, oh, it's not working, that doesn't tell you anything. You really need to narrow in and figure out, well, when you say it's not working, what do you mean? What should it be doing that it isn't doing? And also, has this happened before? So what kind of recurrence are we seeing here? Is this something that happens a lot? Is there a pattern? Or is this something that is only happening once for the first time? Has anything changed recently? Have you installed new hardware? Have you installed a new program? Again, you're looking for common causes, things that could be triggering the problem. And 
what are the system settings specific for this device or application? So is your system able to actually support the device or the application that you're trying to run? Or is there possibly a conflict there? So as you analyze the systems, you want to basically focus on trying to isolate the problem, trying to figure out what is causing this, looking for any common issues, if there's happening when you're running certain programs on your computer, or maybe it's happening on more than one computer in the department, what commonalities exist between those computers? Are they running the same software? Are they logging in with the same profiles? What exactly is triggering it? Then go back through your system checklist again. Keep going through that system checklist, trying to figure out what has changed, what has caused this issue. And if anything has changed, well, change it back. Roll back any changes and see what fixes the problem. And finally, try to reproduce the same problem on other machines or other applications. See if you can determine exactly what settings or what systems are causing this problem. It's all about scientifically trying to break down the problem to isolate the variables and eventually determine exactly which variable is the one that's causing the problem in the first place. So if you can remember all of these, if you can go through all these different steps, then you should be able to narrow down and fix any problem that you might see on your computer.